Hey guys, hey guys, Trickshot here, bringing you another Let's Play series. Today I am on the Hyper Antics mod pack. It was just released yesterday. It's made by Darkfan and was tested by uh, Run Wild, Lapis Lori, Captain Q. The Hypermind crew and guests are currently doing this on their own server. I'm going to go ahead and do a single player Let's Play series of it. So I've already gone ahead and done some of the basics. Um, this is a 1.2, sorry, a 1.10.2 mod pack. Uh, so I've gone ahead and made Tinker's Tools. As you can see here, uh, they have Tinker's Tool leveling mod in here. So as you use the tools, they get XP on them. Uh, eventually, you, once they get enough XP, they'll get modifiers. So we can modify that. Uh, chest, making charcoal. Uh, one thing about this pack, if you were in darkness uh, uh, below, seven and below, you take damage. So that's uh, something that's going to be hard getting used to. So if we go down here, I've gone ahead and made a little farm. I've got some cotton here. That's how I made my sleeping mat. Uh, so a sleeping mat is made by leather from me killing cows and red wool. So I also have a chicken over here. Just gonna grow up. Yay, chicken's grown up. I'll just stand here and get some eggs. Uh, we got some blackberries here, so I can make some fruit salad and fruit juice. Like I've been working on getting my food situation si started. Uh, I don't have any iron right now. I used it for the pot, I think, and the bucket. So I've made a large amount of charcoal. It's just been cutting down these trees in this area. And let me see what else. Actually, I just got looking at this. This is from Environmental Tech. So, I saw here that they have a solar array. Apparently, it's a multi block structure that can generate like a thousand. The level one tier generates a thousand one hundred fifty two RF per tick. Uh, it's a five by five by two. Uh, tier four generates eight thousand two hundred. Uh, sorry, eighty two thousand nine hundred forty four RF per tick. And it's eleven by two by eleven. I am super interested in that one. So I see here cells. Uh, solar cell. Clear glass. Photovoltaic cell. Oh, that's easy. That's, yeah, those will be easy. So I think uh, if we want to do power generation, I think we'll actually do that. Hook it directly into like a capacitor bank or something like that. But that that's a long way off. We still need to get resources. I even I haven't even gone down that far. I've gone to about here. <laughs> nice coal. I'll take it all. I wish I had vein miner right now. So I'd vein mine this like a boss. So if I hit F seven here, like you can see Start taking damage there, so I'm going to pop down torch there. So you got to be super careful in this mod pack. Uh, let's have some tomato soup. Uh, my main crop is going to probably be tomatoes. Because I can make uh, tomato soup out of just tomatoes. So tomato soup is tomato, pot, and stock. I can get stock from tomatoes. <laughs> so that'll probably be my main food source. I'm going to definitely plant some more once they uh, mature. Oh, nice big vein of coal. Thank goodness, because we need it. Ow, ow. And this kind of helps, like if you take damage that means mobs can spawn. 
That's how I'm justifying this right now. Uh, okay, so iron, I will take the iron. Uh, there's a couple things I want to get done today. I want to go ahead and get a uh, smeltery up and running, which means I'll have to go hunt clay um, and sand. I don't have any real effective means of getting either right now. I want to mine down to y equals 11. We're currently at y equals 52. So I can start getting uh, like redstone, diamonds, all that fun stuff. There we go. Alright, so unlike normal, where I don't usually do any cuts, I am going to do a fair amount of cuts in this series. Uh, because of the sheer amount of time that it takes to do some of these things. Alright, so once I get down to y equals 11 or bedrock, I'll be back with yous. Hey, hey guys, we're back. So I came over here to the shoreline to go ahead and try to get some sand and some gravel. I haven't found any clay yet, but I just noticed a pirate ship off in the distance. So we will definitely have to make a note of that. Uh, we're about a hundred blocks out from our current base, which I just labeled tables. So we'll have to go ahead and check that out in the near future. I am curious if, to see if there's anything good over there. So I am playing on hard mode, like I always do. Um, one thing I did want to mention here real quick, um, if you guys haven't checked out um, the people who made this pack, mainly Dark Fan, and Lapis Lori, Run Wild, Q, and Captain Q, I will actually be leaving the links to their channels in my description. So you can definitely check out uh, them, subscribe. So let's go ahead and get a lot of sand. We're going to need a lot because I want to make a pretty big smeltery so I can start doubling my iron. The poor iron that we got while mining, I'm, I just threw it into the smeltery. It's not worth... Uh, doubling. And this exposed coal, so I will gladly take it all. And Yay, no Amy. Okay. So I do have my sleeping mat on me, I do have some torches on me, so as soon as it gets dark, we can sleep away the night. Ooh, iron. Fantastic. Yeah, there are all sorts of fun and interesting mods in this pack. Um, there is... Like chisels and bits, there's evil craft, blood magic, blood magic and Batania are both ones I want to get into. You can know me guys, I'm not usually into the magic mods, but I when I was playing with Dark Link on uh, one of the old mod packs that Dark Fan had made, uh, Dark Link had really gotten into Batania and I found it super interesting. It's not a mod I often play with. So I want to go ahead and dive right into it this time. I've done a little bit of blood magic before, not very much. So once again, it's a new mod to me. Definitely want to give it a try. I'm going to stick on the tech side with a lot of my favorites. Like I know there is Ender I.O. in this. So I will definitely be doing me some Ender I.O. Ender I.O. is my jam. I can... Actually, produce a lot of super easy farms using Ender IO, like tree farms and that. So, I just got to hunt down. Oh, Vein Miner would be so great right now. I might do a custom installation of Vein Miner just so I can Vein Mine a lot of this stuff. Oh, yes, I did want to mention uh, real quick is. The train generation is from realistic terrain, so that's why everything looks a little bit different, a little bit odd. It's not standard terrain generation. 
And I also wanted to mention for every new subscriber I get on YouTube, I will be doing a lucky block somewhere in this world. There are, there is, I do believe, access to the mining dimension. Uh, or not. Well, there's RF tools. Dimensional shredder, dimensional changer. Um, I'm going to sort of designate an area in the overworld, like possibly like 500 blocks in a in a direction, and set up a platform and do the Irish lucky box there, because some of them can be really good, some of them could be terrible. <laughs> like, Irish, uh, Irish luck dragon, kind of terrible. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and continue gathering clay. Oh, there's some right there actually. <laughs> and other supplies for our smeltery. So I will see you back here in a bit. Hey guys, we're back. So I've gone ahead and assembled um, pretty much what we need for our smeltery. So I'm only going to do a very small one. I'll definitely increase its size later on. So I want the controller to be here. I want the smeltery so put to be there. I want that to be there. And I clicked on the wrong thing. And I want that to be there. So our smeltery is now active. So we can smelt four things at once. We're going to remove this block and this block to put down our casting table and our casting basin. And I only made one faucet, but that's fine. We can move that around as we need it. So, we have our smeltery, which is fantastic. So now we need lava as uh, so the fuel source to melt things down. And we're going to need gold to make uh, the casts. And I'm going to need to make another pattern chest, which we'll probably put, like, over here or something. Have any more eggs for me? You do. Do you have a friend? No, you do not. Uh, there's that. Alright, so we have our smeltery, which I'm actually really pleased about. We have the start of our tinker tools. I made another chest. This is a, a spruce chest from Quark. So I can throw all that in there. Throw that in there. So yeah. So before our next episode, I'll be down. Uh, I'll probably mine out a large volume of of stuff so we can try to get more resources uh, but other than that guys I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave it here it, I understand it's gonna be short for our first episode but uh, there is a lot to do uh, like I said I'm going to be very jump cutty with this uh, because there is a lot of prep work because of all the different mods in it but I think in our next episode we're going to start building our base so I want to go ahead and look at different block designs and block options because we're actually going to build it on top of our well our mine and in this area so we're going to make a probably a log style cabin I might use the natural spruce uh, there are some like maple and that's tiger I don't know what this one is I think this is uh, eucalyptus yes so we're going to go ahead and work on that there next episode, so I'll do a little bit of terraforming. Not too, too much. I don't want to drive myself crazy. So, But I will leave it all here. So um, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting these uh, probably three times a week. Um, in the near future, I'm going to be starting a Pixelmon series as, as well. I've been testing that. For uh, quite some time, you can find that on twitch.tv slash trickshotpro. Uh, I will leave a link to that in the description as well. 
So there's that. Um, like I, like I mentioned earlier in the previous clip, every new subscriber I get, I will be doing an Irish luck block somewhere in the world. I gotta check the configs, make sure we can't spawn the luck dragon until I'm ready to fight it. But we can spawn withers and stuff like that. And those clips will be done at the end of the episodes. I'll probably save five minutes to doing that. So everyone, this is Trickshot, and have a great one.